Hey everybody, welcome back man. Y'all already know I got another great video for everybody today. This is one man, it's about to change y'all life. Alright, this is a, a life changing video um, because I know it's something that a lot of people be trying to figure out. Like especially when you're meeting new people or you're going through some things and you're trying to understand-ish. Well no worries, I got y'all man. Cue that intro. Alright, so let's get right into it. Today's video is how to spot a red flag. And as you always know, there is no direct answer for everything. It is about understanding your mind. And so we about to get right into it. Gut feeling and intuition is how to solve all ordeals with red flags. Why is that? Because no matter how comparable like you and other people of society are you are not the same people okay different things make you tick different ways all right it's just a fact no one is the same like person like, oh they're just like me no they're not like you have similar little similar traits but they are not exactly you there are certain things that bother you that do not bother them it's just it's just it's just how it is we're all biologically set up differently okay knowing that you need to just understand what actually bothers you, okay? I wanna give some examples. Let's say I was dating someone, right? And I'm gonna give a couple. And this person uh, was reaching out to me like with a good morning text, they was checking up on me for lunch, and at nighttime they wanted to FaceTime. For me, that would be a red flag. Because I recognize, wow, this person like wants attention or needs attention. I know for a fact with my lifestyle, like. I can't accommodate this much attention to a person. And so, like, I know in hindsight, I would have a conversation about it, of course. But, like, and I want to mention it with all my stories, too. Every single thing I would have a conversation about, but this is about understanding. But what I'm saying right now, some of you all might sit there and be like, shit, that would be great. Like, a person, good morning text, calling me at lunch to check on me, and at nighttime I get a FaceTime. That's, you wildin', dude. You don't, you don't know about no relationships. You know what I'm saying? Like, these things, we all just different. Are all our lives different, so you're gonna feel things differently. I'll give you another example that someone else might say, like, oh yeah, that's not that would work for me. For me, let's say I'm talking to someone, right? Beginning stages, you're still early on, and like every single day after 8 p.m., they're no longer available. Like you could call, you could text, you could ever, but from 8 p.m. to 2 p.m. the next day, they are always completely unavailable, right? For me, that would be a red flag. Like, because in my mind, I'm like, okay, so at night, all the time, you're unavailable. Like, that's, that's just sketchy to me. Someone else, and remember, I would have a conversation about everything. I already mentioned that, so this is not something I would just dead a person for. I would just have a conversation to figure out what's going on. Because they may just say, oh, hey, yeah, like, I'm talking to you, but I was talking to this other person, and, like, I kind of was getting to know them more, so I spend time with them at night, right? And then you can make a decision. Of course, naturally, I would just stop talking to the person. But so that's another great example someone else might not care and they might say well hey you're right i'm in the beginning stages you gave me the time of day that's okay that's not how i view myself and so for me i'm like oh all right well cool you just go ahead and keep with that person like i'm gonna just go my separate way and i'll meet somebody else like it's for but 7.2 billion people on the planet i'm sure i could find somebody else like i'm per i'm sure i can find somebody else so yeah it's like little things like that like everyone ticks differently and that's something to just really know like even when it comes to for y'all know sometimes like, oh even when it comes to friendships you know i look at my notes even when it comes to friendships right i had a roommate um back before oh yeah a lot of y'all well actually i don't want to use that whatever so they turned around and like went to visit their friends right and when they went to visit their friends um in another state okay their friends did not come out to meet them right so their friends lived so they drove almost 16 hours to go back to their home state their friends that never drove the 16 hours to see them and this person has went back multiple times like to this place their friends who lived an hour away from their home didn't even commute the hour to come see their friend does that make sense like i when they told me the story just like yeah i'm about to ride up here to go see them i'm like Wait, damn, it's your last day there. I was like, they didn't come see you that whole time? You've been there for two weeks. They're like, nah, nah, it's okay, though. Like, they, they wanted to spend time with their boyfriend. So, someone like me, red flag, in a, in a friendship, I'm most likely not friends with this person. Like, 
how much, oh, I, again, I have conversations with everybody, but if that's a common denominator, which it was, someone like me can't be friends with somebody like that. Like, if I'm, if I, if I'm riding 16 hours home, you never come visit me, and you're an hour away, and you don't come to see me, like, doing a whole two-week span, to me, it's, it's just an hour, dude. You don't fools with me like that. And that's okay. Especially, like, if, if your reason is, oh, well, my boyfriend wanted to lay up tonight, or they want, and every single day is something about them, that's just, it's okay. That's where your priorities lie now. And for me, I value myself and I value friendships more than this person probably does, like at least in general. And so like, it just doesn't work. You know what I mean? And, and those are the things like, and some of y'all probably sitting there like, oh, that wouldn't be a big deal to me, man. You know, you gotta give time to your relationship and that's okay. But like, for me, that just wouldn't be it. And so that is the big thing I want everybody to take away from today's video is just that like, red flags aren't like, uh, person cheats red flag it doesn't work like that i know like a, like y'all sitting there like what what a person cheats red flag no because some people honestly deep in their hearts don't care about being cheated on like that actually doesn't bother them to the same effect that it would bother someone else and i know like when you hear it out loud it sounds crazy because it sounds crazy to you but it does not sound crazy to someone else right like i know i got one more story now think about it they like, used to talk to somebody who they wanted to like tease you like not actually like go the full way they just wanted to tease you all the time right and like for me it didn't work but they told me how like everybody else would just go crazy over the teases and i told them no i don't, I don't want to be teased i either want the real thing or i just don't want nothing like and then they're just like they're like dumbfounded they're like baffled because they're like wait what this is crazy like people usually fiend for my tease like but for someone else like she's they would have loved, they loved the teases. Didn't work for me. And so like, that's just the things I want y'all to understand is like, in totality of this video, your red flags are your red flags. And of course you should definitely converse about every single one. So I guess in conclusion, I wanna just say, talk about it though. Don't just like allow things to happen and you just suck those red flags in. Like, if something happens that bothers you, make sure that you express that to the person. Hey. Let's go through some of my examples. Hey, um, I do notice that you you no longer you like it's been a couple times like and so I just want to like figure this out. Like I noticed like after eight, I wouldn't go to like probably the extreme of the next day. I would just probably just stay it after eight. You know, I noticed you aren't available anymore. Like, is there is there like a reason behind that? Like I would just like to know a little more. And if the person was like expressed it, okay, perfect. If the person said, I don't gotta tell you my business, cool, that's cool too. I'm still gonna stop talking to you. You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta also know like who are you as a person. Like and, and that's how it goes. I say with the person that calls three times a day. Hey, I love that you um, you feeling me and that the attention that you're giving and like I, I really do appreciate it. Um, is it possible for us to scale back like how much we're talking throughout a day? Um, because I definitely be busy with my other like projects and things I do work related. So like, can we somehow compromise on just the amount of time that we chat? Like, cause if I'm already talking to you also at lunch, like FaceTime at night, I, re I really don't have much to say at that point. You know, and, and you just, no, I need to hear from you all the time. All right, bet, well, this ain't gonna work. You know, or damn, yeah, you right, you do be busy. Like, okay, well, what do you think? Like, give me some options. You know what I mean? Like, it, you could converse to the friend situation. Hey, damn, man, I came out here to visit. Uh, you like, and I thought you would have pulled up on me like during this whole time frame I was here. You didn't. You said it's because of a relationship. Like, is going for uh, our our relationship predicated on the one that you're currently in? So like, if if they're around, like I won't get to see you. Oh yeah, I mean that's how it is. You know, I gotta put my eggs in this basket. This is my future. Cool, perfect. Like that's good to know. So now I just know I need to distance myself from this person. Like I, I'm not saying I need to cut them off. I just need to distance them. I can't view them as that type of close friend anymore because it just doesn't work for me. Like, and that's what I want y'all to keep getting the whole point of me. And you notice that in all those scenarios, I didn't blame the other person. I went from my context of how it affected me and wanted to hear their thoughts after hearing how it impacted me to see what they have to say. And so that's another key point of red flags and expressing yourself is not trying to blame the other person. Like, oh, I see you don't pick out the eight. You know I take my time to message you. And I mean, if you like up to something or if you just on some ish, then let me know. No, you don't do that. That's that, that's, that's, that don't do that. Just don't do that, okay? So I hope y'all enjoyed this video today, man. Look forward to the next one. See y'all next time.